Are you trying to find online courses in data science or machine learning? In this video, I'm going to show you probably the best search engine or catalog for online courses in data science. And without further ado, we're starting right now. So the search engine or catalog of online courses that I'm going to talk about today is called Classbert. But before we begin, a little disclaimer. This video is sponsored by Classbert. And in spite of this, I truly believe that Classbert is probably the best search engine or online catalog that will consolidate all of the online courses that are available in data science and machine learning in one platform. And so let's have a look at what this website has to offer. So this is the Classbird website, and it allows you to find and compare online courses from multiple e-learning platform. And so you could get started by typing in the course that you want to find. Let's type in data science. Hit on enter. All right, and there you go. You have approximately 1,500 results that are shown here. And then on the menu to the left here, you can see that it is divided into categories. So if you click on like IT or math science engineering, you are going to be filtering only results that belong to these categories. Or if you want something at the interface between data science and finance, then you could click on this. So let's try that finance. And so you're going to see courses that are at the intersection between finance and data science. So you have approximately 24 courses here. So for example, the first course is provided by the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. And you can see here that the course is for free. So you don't have to pay for it. And it is available via the Coursera platform. And in the see details, you could click on it and then you could have a further look about the course. So you can see that this is the introductory video of this online course. And this provides you a brief information about the course. And then you're going to see that there are other related courses here shown below. And you can see that the instructor is Robert Brunner. And the course is taught in English, closed caption provided, also with audio. And the course is self-paced. And it will take you approximately 69 hours to complete. So all of this information is right within the Classbird website. So you could quickly see what language the course is taught in and whether it is self-paced or not and how many hours that you are expected to spend in learning the course. Let's head on back. And then you're going to see that there are other courses that you will have to pay. For example, provided by Udemy here shown on the top right. And the instructor is Vladimir. And the course is about automated trading journal. All right. So all of the courses here are from Udemy. Some are free and some are for a fee. And so you can see that most of the courses are from Udemy. And so let's try other areas like IT. Okay. And then you're going to see courses provided by other platform like plural sites. And you're also going to see how much the course is going to be costing. Like for example, this one is costing $342 tools for data science. Let's have a look. See details. Okay, and then you can see that the course has closed caption subtitle in English and in Korea. And the course will take about 17 hours to complete. And notice here that there are tags provided on the right panel here. So all of these tags are associated with this course. So you can even click on the tag in order to find courses that contain these tags. Like if I click on Anaconda, it will contain courses containing the tag of Anaconda. And so you're going to see that all of these are making use of Anaconda. Plural site, Udemy, Future Learn. So for example, I've never heard of Future Learn before. And so because of Classbird, now I know that there is a course on hurricane tracking using satellite data and provided by the University of Strathclyde and it is available on the Future Learn platform. All right, and then there are other courses provided by the edX platform. Okay, and so let's have a look at the left panel here. So I've shown you that there are courses that are categorized into different categories. Let me head on back right here. After we have searched for data science, we can see that there are various categories that the courses are belonging to. 
Like for example, if I try math, science, and engineering, and previously we have tried IT computer science, and we have also tried finance. And so all of these courses have a math, science, or engineering content. And here is another platform, Skillshare. So these courses are available on Skillshare. Right, so all of this is conveniently available on Classbird. So you could see it at a glance at the same time. So let's have a look at the left panel, as I mentioned previously. So here, you could filter courses according to whether the courses are available for free or whether you have to pay to have access to them. So let's click on the free classes. And then you're going to see that all of these courses are for free. So let's click on go to course. So now it's going to redirect us to the Coursera website. Okay, and on the top right, it says join for free. And this course is available from the University of California at Santa Cruz. And the instructor is Herbert Lee. And it says to the left here, enroll for free. Okay, so the course is indeed free. Let me try this one too. Enroll price free. Okay, because normally edX you will have to be paying in order to have access to the course. And because the platform said it is free, I was a bit skeptical. But now that I clicked onto the Coursera website or the edX website, and I really see that the price is also for free. So it matches the one from the description of the Classbird website. So that's a great thing. All right, and so you can see here that of all the courses that are available for free, six of the courses are taught by Harvard University, two are from Columbia, two are also from John Hopkins University. So you could have a quick look at the name of the institution here. And let's look at the provider. 15 courses are available on the edX platform, 9 are available on Coursera, 4 on FutureLearn, and 3 on Udemy. Okay, and then so let's click on the languages here. So we can see that 31 of the courses are taught in English and for the subtitles. So all of the courses are accompanying with a English subtitle. And so some of the courses have subtitles in other languages such as in Spanish, in French, in Portuguese, in Chinese, in Italian, in Japanese. And a great thing here is that you could also see whether the course is at the intermediate level at the beginner level or at the advanced level. So let's find courses that are at the beginner level. And there are seven courses here. All right, and so let's have a look at the learning pace. So we can see that 21 of the courses are self-paced, meaning that you could take the course at your own pace, while six of the courses are instructor-paced. And so the instructor-paced course are having a fixed or well-defined starting date and end date. So you probably have to finish the courses at the specified time period. All right, and so here I've shown you that you could search for data science and then you could have a look at all of the filter via the category, via the pricing, whether it is free or not free, via the institution name, the provider of the platform, the languages that are taught, the subtitle that are available for the courses, the difficulty level and also whether the course is self-paced or instructor-paced. So let's head on back to the front page and then notice that on the menu at the top here, you're going to have a browse category button. If you click on it or just hover on it and then you're going to see that there are IT and computer science and all of the various category. And then if you click, for example, IT and computer science, then you're also going to see the subcategory inside machine learning, data analysis, and visualization. So it should be noted here that the browse function here and also the tree view here at the purple button provides you similar functionality. So if I click on IT and computer science, I'm going to get the same subcategory that I saw here in the browse. But in the tree view navigation, I can go into an extra sub subcategory, meaning that under machine learning, I will be able to see the sub subcategory of that. And that includes artificial intelligence, computer vision, deep learning, flying car, machine learning, natural language processing, PyTorch, self-driving car, and TensorFlow. 
Like for example, if I click on PyTorch, then I will be able to see all of the courses that are mentioning about PyTorch. Like for example here, the one from IBM, Deep Learning with Python and PyTorch, or the one available on the Plural Sites platform, Deploying PyTorch Models in Production, PyTorch Playbook, or how about the one available from Udacity, taught by Louis Serrano, Introduction to Deep Learning with PyTorch, and he is affiliated with Facebook AI. Or what about the edX platform, which features the course from IBM, PyTorch Basics for Machine Learning. Okay, and so you can see all of the courses available here. And as always, you see all of the filters here on the left panel, which you could click on. And that you're going to see that 17 of the courses are requiring you to pay, whereas four of them are for free. Let's have a look at the free courses. So the free courses here are available, three of them from edX and one of them from Udacity. And so as you can see, we could easily and quickly have a look at which of the courses are teaching about machine learning and PyTorch and from which of the online learning platform without having to separately search from many website, many learning platform and trying to aggregate all of the information together. So of course you could do that. You could go to Google, you could search for deep learning or machine learning and PyTorch and then online courses. However, that will require you to go to different learning platform and then search each of the platform in order to find the information that you need. However, if you use the Classbird platform, you could have access to all of those information in one unified platform. And so as you can see here, by using the Classbird website, you could have access to the consolidated information about the online courses. And so in my own opinion, the tree view navigation is the most powerful feature on the website because it allows you to drill down to the courses that you want to take. So at the first try, we tried to find PyTorch. And now let's have a look at the natural language processing. And now we're, we're going to see that there are quite a few courses here, over a hundred courses. And some are from Skillshare and you probably have to pay like $8.25 a month or from plural sites. However, some courses are for free and some will require a different amount of time for you to take. Like some of them will require you to take about two hours for the course. Some are quite short, one hour. And however, some are quite lengthier at 21 hours. So depending on the time commitment that you could spend on, you could have a look at all of the time duration here, right inside the search. Okay, and then you could quickly see which of the topic interests you and from which institutions are they provided from on which learning provider platform and in what language, subtitle, at which difficulty level. Let's say that you are an advanced data scientist and you want to try out more sophisticated courses. So you could click on advanced, all right, and then you're going to see that there are about six courses for you here. All right. Okay. So, okay. So we've tried to find courses by typing into the search box and then we've tried to click on the tree view navigation. And so let's try the browse function. All right. And so this is the machine learning course page. So let's say that we're interested in the art and science of machine learning. Let's have a look at that. All right. And there you go. And so it redirects us to the plural site website. And so the course is provided by Google Cloud and it requires three hour and a half. Let's see here. Three hours it says here. Okay, pretty cool. So very accurate. So whatever you see here is also reflected here as well. Okay. And so you can see that this website, Classbird, does not require you to pay anything in order to use and it apparently is free for you to search and compare and find online courses on data science and machine learning. And there is another cool feature here as well. If you click on this button, you will also get a dark mode. Okay. For those of you who like to, so for those of you who prefer to have a much darker theme, you could click on this function here. All right. So we have covered all of the three main functionality of Classbird in order to search and find and narrow and click on for further detail of the courses that we would like to take about data science and machine learning. 
Okay, and so let's have a look at the provider list here. You can see that there are edX, Udacity, Coursera, Skillshare, LinkedIn Learning, Future Learn, Treehouse. So as we have seen also from the search page result. All right, and there are APIs that you could also have a look at. For those of you who are coming from the learning provider, so if you click on the get listed, you could have access to detail on how your online courses could be listed in this repository of Classbirds. All right, and so you could also search for the instructors as well, if you click on here, instructors. And so these are the learning instructor provided on all of the learning platform from edX, Coursera, Udemy. Okay, and so you have seen now that the Classbird website will allow you to have access to all of the consolidated information on the online courses in data science and machine learning, as well as other courses that you would like to take. It doesn't have to be data science or machine learning. It could be anything like in finance or on bioinformatics, for example. And so the great thing about this is that the aggregated information that you have access to is available for free. So you don't have to pay anything. You just go to classbird.com and then you could have access to its searching capability. And so if you're finding value in this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't yet done so, and hit on the notification bell in order to be notified of the next video. And as always, the best way to learn data science is to do data science. And please enjoy the journey. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next one. But in the meantime, please check out these videos.